Hello everyone, it's Retroaction. Welcome back to another Transformers G1 review. This is Flame. He is a motivator released by Hasbro in 1991 and he is also a European exclusive. Now, interestingly enough, this figure was not actually originally a European exclusive. He was originally a Japanese exclusive from the, from the line Transformers Victory, which is one of the Japanese original Transformers G1 series. And he was one of the brain masters in that series. He was actually black and yellow. And he's either he's one of he's one of these blacker, laster, and braver. He's one of those. All right, he was brought over by Hasbro to the Europe, to Europe, and I believe Australia in 1991, and released as one of the motivators alongside the other two brain masters. And they were up against Overlord. All right, so this is Flame. He has a Lamborghini Countach. He comes with this weapon here, and you have the driver in there. Now things to watch out for in this mode. It's a really cool. It's a really cool Lamborghini Countach mode. It's all, you know, so we've got the yellow there, the translucent blue. We have this all about insignia with the flames on, which is pretty cool. We've got some nice stickers. We have rubber tires, so it rolls quite well. But things to watch. But the rubber tires do tend to degrade, and it's quite common for these to be missing the tires. Either way, it's a really cool vehicle mode. It looks really sleek. It's fantastic. Great detailing. And if we open up this windscreen here. We can get the driver out. There he is. And in Japan, this is one of the brain masters. As you can see, he's slightly different to your power masters and your headmasters and target masters. Even though he does look a bit like a headmaster from the front there and a bit like a power master from the back. But he is slightly different. He's got articulation at the arms, his legs do move. And he's got an interesting feature. It looks cool. Got a great colour scheme. Got a great colour scheme like the figure, great head sculpt. The sticker seems to be misplaced there, but either way, we'll get back to him later when we come to the transformation. He does come with this weapon, which you can stick in a few places. You can put it up there like that, and you can attach it on the side. I mean, this doesn't look great for an attack mode, but you can attach it to the side like this, and this looks slightly better. Anyway, because it's on rubber wheels, it rolls quite well. And that is it for the vehicle mode. It's pretty cool. It's very cool. It's a really, really fantastic vehicle mode. A really fantastic Lamborghini Countach. Right, so the transformer, what we're going to do is uh, the, trans trans the transformation is kind of scary on this one because uh, you've got to start here and it takes a bit of force. But you just pop off the front there. As you can see, it's held in with these two pegs, which are quite stiff, quite strong even. Bring that to the back. Actually, let's just do this. The transformation. Right, so, because it's going to get quite tall. Oh, things just fell down. Here we go again. Right. So we got that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring out the arms, like so, and get out the leg and the, and the legs. The transformation is quite simple, but these legs are a bit of a pain. And, uh, this one is kind of a nuisance to get out. There we go. And you can see these legs kind of move in all sorts of places. And now you want to do... Now what you want to do is there's a little thing in here. So you get your thumb to get out of the hands, like so, like so, and we're pretty much almost there. And then this bit we can bring to the back there like that. Probably could damage the windscreen, but there we go. As these legs, they kind of straighten out in some weird places. As you can see, these legs do move a bit. Let's see, how far do these legs straighten out? Now these legs are quite... They're quite tight, but as you can see, they do move on the sides there. And here as well, they, there's some crazy like movement with these legs. But either way, we are not done yet because we take the Brain Master and this piece comes down and we have a lift. And what we do is we insert the Brain Master in here, and this is the gimmick. There's a spring inside the Brain Master's body, so as you bring this up, 
the face panel is revealed and it goes all the way up and you click it into place like that and that is brought and that is flame in robot mode all right so let's give him his weapon which is pretty cool let's give him his sword like that nice detail on the sword and it's a fantastic robot mode it looks brilliant the head sculpt is phenomenal i really like the color scheme it looks great we've got a nice big autobot insignia on the front there these legs are a bit strange so as the articulation there's nothing at the head the arms go up it's quite basic really but these legs you know they come out to the side they can move like so as you can see the These, these can move in all sorts of different places. It's kind of crazy, really. It's kind of hard to straighten up his legs. He's got very weird legs. I'm still trying to figure out whether or not these legs are actually straight or not. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they are. There we go. It does stand quite well. And he is quite tall as well. Overall, that is fine. He's got a great robot mode, but he is quite basic in supply today's standards. But he is quite big as well, but he does look fantastic. Anyway, right, so this has been Vector Action with Transformers G1 Motivated Flame. It's a great figure, definitely recommend picking him up. Though he is harder to find, as he is a European exclusive, and he was also a Japanese exclusive in a different colour scheme previously to this. And picking Picking both versions up can be difficult. And also the Japanese version actually comes with more parts so it can combine. These can still combine, but they are now lacking the combination parts other than the sword so and the brain masters. Well, the, the brain masters, the gimmick. It's a really cool gimmick. Um, yep, but that is Motivated Flame. It's a really cool figure, it looks great. The head sculpt's fantastic. It's just got a really cool colour scheme and look to it and design. But it is basic and simple and not much articulation. But this is definitely one of my favourite European exclusives. And I think it looks better as a European exclusive than it does as a Japanese exclusive. Either way, both versions are hard to find. But I definitely would recommend finding this figure. Anyway, right, it's been Retroaction. Thank you very much, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Because I have the other motivators to do, which I'll get to in time. See you then. Bye for now.